don't see how me playing card games is going to teach me how to fight a fire mamma, dude. It's not, dumbass. Look, I've got a couple of things that I need to take care of before I start training you to not suck. Vigilante justice, slaying demons, talking to someone I haven't seen since I was a teenager that I found out was still alive a few minutes ago, getting some of my contacts to help prep my training shit for you. I I'm busy. Yeah, I get you. I know how busy life can... Wait, what was that third one? See, you're like a nerd, right? So here's a nerd shop. Be nerdy until I get done. Question? If you ever reference Destiny's Child around me again, I will bludgeon you with my shiny gold ball. I do have a question, though. Jesus, what? Well, I mean, like I said earlier, me, fight, sandwich, dead. What if Superfly decides to just show up here and finds me? He's a rapper, right? Yeah. Okay. You see any Yu-Gi-Oh around here? You do know that Patrick Chapin exists, right? Wait, how'd you know that he was a rapper? You're paying for that! Get fucked. Keaton. Fine. You see the shit that I have to put up with? I didn't know Scarlet played magic. Shut up. No one cares. We're here because we have a triggered anti-SJW and we need an expert on magic to teach this fuck why he's a piece of shit garbage human. Basically. And no, I don't play magic. But no one watches when I talk about magic for five hours at a time. Unless you talk about drama. Right, unless I talk about clickbait. Yeah, it's on on Sleeved Media. something to do while I go do shit. Later, nerds! Yeah, see you, Wolfram. Wait, Heaton, you know that guy? Yeah, I tailored his suit. You're a tailor too? Don't pigeonhole me, you shit. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce The Quartering, otherwise known as Unsleep Media, a magic YouTuber who was banned for life from sanctioned play in November of 2017 due to alleged harassment. I made a video briefly talking about the situation, looks like that's a playlist now, and to give updated thoughts on that before we start, no, I don't think he deserved a fucking lifetime ban. I thought he was being a dick and nothing more, and that doesn't warrant a lifetime ban. But I see from the other side of my coin on this issue why Wizards felt like it was a bit more than that. Well, I started playing MTG far back in the month of October of last year, and since then have played a masterful amount of one game, so I've been barely exposed to any of this. My exposure to unsleeved media comes from the video Boone made about his ban and this so yeah phenomenal impressions my guy is this about anime no damn it let's get started the battle is lost oh the get off the cross lost. we need the wood penis know. joke i'll kill you where's my waffles it's no surprise that the sjw infestation is a problem in the gaming community whether it be video games specifically people in positions of power like Games journalism. Okay, since when were game journalists considered in a position of power in, like, what, 2014? Oh, yeah. Right? Hey, guys, remember Internet Aristocrat? Yeah, me neither. Don't tell me his complete misunderstanding of how Gamergate happened is going to be relevant. You better fucking not. Have started picking away at a lot of the little things. And... What we just saw is the world's most popular card game, played by millions of people, finally jumped the shark. We stood by as all the women drawn in the game became uglier and uglier. If by uglier you mean that they're more covered and well prepared for battle that they're supposed to be getting into? I mean, sorry to break it to you, but the armor that you see on trashy MMOs for female characters are not practical, and considering that magic is going for a more realistic fantasy art style, it makes sense for the women to be dressed like Hilde from Soul Calibur. By the way, on that note, if them being more clothed means they're uglier, then that doesn't apply to magic's artwork either, since women have always been dressed about the same as they are in current artwork. Like, the most scantily clad woman on a card that I can even think of is Sarah Angel's original art from Alpha, because it's practically a close-up on her cleavage, but there's no under boob, no side boob, no nipple slip, just tasteful top boob, and a man jaw. I'd let Chandra and Elspeth step on me. Wait, how can you comment? You're gay! And you're asexual, your point? They can step on me platonically. I like Vic too! 
And yeah, I get it, subjectivity. You might not find these women attractive, and that's fair enough as an opinion. So, why are you saying we sat by and watched it happen, as though the community as a whole has a shared opinion on aesthetic beauty of the female form and or bangability? And for that matter, let's go back to the alleged harassment concerning why you were banned. Part of the evidence presented against you were multiple tweets and a video saying that you did not consider MTG cosplay as a service and the cosplay is basically just there for masturbatory material, including this clip from the very video where you called out Christine Sprankle the first time. I think cosplay is great. It's, it's great. It's not really a service, in my opinion. It's someone who likes to play dress up. But that's just me. Some people see it as that. I think a lot of people see this fat material, in my opinion. When I start looking at some of this cosplay, I start having to say, like, I feel a little movement down in my pantaloons, and I'm like, I see why. I see why people could like cosplay. Now, this statement indicates that you either find Christine Sprankle, while making herself appear similar to MTG characters, mind you, attractive, or you recognize why other people would, meaning that your statement that the community allowed women in the artwork to get uglier cannot be true on any level, even in accordance with your own mindset, considering the fact that someone making themselves look like MTG women in the artwork is considered attractive to you. I bet you could count the number of the times they use the word community in their videos, and it would take more than one hand, probably two. This is a word that people use oftentimes to control an illicit response. When you say, I love this community, or you know, you're all, we're all a community, what you're doing is trying to bring everyone, make you know, we're all to in this together. When in fact, only one person is really benefiting from that message, right? We're not even a minute in with these half page rants, Boon. Okay, Heaton, uh, real talk? I want you to look at the first two words of the title of this video real quick. The fuck were you expecting? Yeah, the most plus ultra, I'm a fucking idiot. We stood by as the art in general became more puritanical. But Bane Alley broke her though! I've already proven that in terms of how much skin ladies show, this is factually inaccurate. But considering you separated this from your previous point, you could potentially also be talking about the removal of satanic symbols from the game. I mean, I'd argue that's a good idea, but if you have a problem with that and find it to be something that removes from the game's identity, although I disagree with you, I wouldn't be able to call you factually wrong on that front. Just a whiny bitch. And even then, you don't consider the fact that maybe the puritanical dress for those characters is part of their character. What if they're an angel that serves a celestial being and is a warrior that dresses in armor that adorns their master symbol and likeness? Looking at some of these pieces with women who are characters and even mortal characters who seem to dress in a similar manner for the different factions and superiors they serve within their universe, they all have armor that serve that symbolic purpose to their background. Man, MTG YouTubers really suck. This is not normal! We stood by as you kept releasing more and more absurd codes of conduct. You mean the code of conduct that was last updated in June of 2014? Are you referring to the kind of shit that got you banned? It's some serious salt there, bud. I needed to defrost my driveway, considering it's fucking snowing in March! Of course it's only ridiculous when you're banned off of it. I... You know what? No. I'm gonna save that one. And on the day... To put some perspective, I know not all of you play Magic the Gathering, okay? And by the way, I have a second channel. It's, it's in fact my main channel. It's called Unsleeved Media. The link is in the description below. It would be awesome if you, if you want to know about any of the games behind me, I actually cover games sometimes on that channel. So go give it a subscribe and see what you think. Well, gosh golly gee, that sounds like a great idea. I'd love to learn more about those games that you pointed to. So how about we- Don't even bother. Well, why though? He never made a video about any of the games behind him except Magic, and the videos he does make about things other than Magic or himself are few and far between, normally with three or so every couple of months in comparison to his daily uploads. So, you know, he's technically not lying, just advertising to an audience who won't care about 90% of the product he's advertising, which really isn't very effective, dude. Just saying. He doesn't even talk about Dungeons and Dragons? Of course not, Scarlet! Dungeons and Dargos is for nerds! Watch Ard Mandaleo and Titan's Legacy. Fuck! 
on the day when the arguably one of the biggest sets to ever be released for Magic the Gathering, Dominaria, the set that was supposed to save the game, the set that was supposed to wash away the horrible taste in its giant player base's mouth from a terrible Modern Masters 25 series, iconic Masters, people wasting their money, local game stores shuttering because nobody's playing the game anymore, counterfeits out of control, every new set keeps getting leaked. On the day when they get publicly embarrassed again, this is like the third or fourth major leak in as, uh, in as many, maybe in the last five or six sets. This is a regular occurrence now. What did we notice? What was all the magic talking heads talking about? Not the leak, not their gross incompetence, but it was the fact that they had a huge victory, everybody. And what do you think that victory was? Hookers and blow for all tourney players? Banning toxic YouTubers who imply that their head creative people sexually assaulted thousands of people with no proof, which is literal slander? They got a puppy? Okay, first of all, counterfeits have been a thing for quite some time, even since close to Magic's inception. In fact, have you ever noticed the rares and foils have the holofoil stamp on the bottom of the card? That's done in order to curb counterfeiting. And as for the low attendance, they've also been doing a number of things to try to curb that. For example, when they changed standards rotation and they saw that people were playing standard less, thus resulting in people not showing up for FNM, since standard is the primary format played at FNM, they basically changed it back to the way it was. When they realized that two-set block format was limiting their design too much, they got rid of blocks altogether since three-set blocks had a problem with one set being underpowered compared to the other two. All of these changes to standard to try to get people back playing. And right here in this video, we've got an example of a player who's gotten into the game since this downturn that you're talking about. Uh, yes, hello. You know... Since you're going to show later how much anecdotal evidence matters to you and the change at the corporate level that resulted in a shift towards digital design being a primary concern for the company over the past two years, you mean to tell me that one press statement about something else is an indicator to you that they're ignoring the problems? Oh, and weren't you just saying that Magic has millions of players and then turn around and say that no one's playing the game? Good job, buddy. 10 out of 10. I mean, yes, FNM attendance is down, but that doesn't mean it's non-existent. And I'm sorry, are you judging the entirety of the product on a more expensive, non-fucking standard product meant for fewer sales and a more expensive price? For fuck's sake, we've got to rag on the product. Rag on the fact that most Ixalan cards and deck types aren't in the fucking meta because the Kaladesh and Amonkhet blocks are too busy dominating everything with artifacts control and fatal punch thus resulting in the sales of cards from the newer sets not being where they should be and by the way why do they need to go on about the leak isn't it in their better interest to investigate the matter behind closed doors and talk more about something positive instead? That just sounds like a good business practice to me. It's almost like publicly addressing a leak is something that a business sh wouldn't normally do because if you refuse to talk about it, then you may be able to convince people that the leak isn't even legitimate in the first place. Isn't that right, Sony's PS Vita announcement? What are you doing? My tulips aren't going to water themselves and you won't shut up, so here we are. Wait, when did you get the blue ones? Get good, Scrub Lord. Well, fuck you! I'm at least in the top 13 to 12% of the stylist arena. I can't crack top 20, you shit! I'll kill you! They released a... a, uh, document that laid out everything with Dominaria and actually all the cards that had been spoiled. So they didn't talk about the leak, but released a document talking about the stuff in the leak. Yes, right? Fucking kill me. Not yet. He's gonna get dumber. Ah, oh, come on, Boone. How dumb could it possibly get? I mean, it's freaking MTG. You... You saw my comms on Desolator Magic, right? <laughs> Some of heard they pretty much just became criminals, or they just... You know, basically said that they're too arrogant and too elite to, you know, get a normal job, so they just became like a contract killer. Samurai were basically just like the worst, most stuck-up rich people you could ever meet in your life. Yeah, it'll get worse than that. They basically said, we screwed up. Here's everything that was supposed to come out because we don't have any other choice. And I think that's probably the best they could do. 
buried in a 52 page document, we notice, and I did, I didn't even notice it the first time I read through this sandwiched in between two cards. Now, don't you dare tell me that that's not on purpose. Do not tell me that they didn't try to slide this in here. They're talking about Lanwar Elves, a famous Magic the Gathering card, and then Hummerid Explorer. But what do we have here in the middle? Magic has adopted they as the preferred third person singular pronoun for a player replacing he or she. This on the 25th anniversary of the world's most popular card game is a fucking disgrace. <laughs> okay, this, this is a joke, right? This, this has to be a meme. Before we get started on, you know, let, let's address the intellectual manipulation you're trying to pull in what you're saying about this document. So first of all, yes, they are talking about these cards in a section of the document talking about things they are changing about the wording of cards. In fact, if you actually fucking read what's there, you'll see that it's not being hidden, but rather the Hummerid Explorer is being used in ex as an example of what's being said. The text above Lanoir Elf states that they are no longer including to your mana pool at the end of mana abilities, and the updated text of Lanoir Elves is provided as an example. And the text of Hummerid Explorer states, target player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard, instead of target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard, as an example of the text change on Hummerid Explorer. If you look below that, you can see they're describing a change to cards that affect how they operate on the stack. So th this is what we like to call consistent. In other words, my dude, they didn't hide it. They presented it just as prominently as everything else in that particular category of announcements in this particular document. Stop trying to manipulate your audience by adding intentions that are disproven by reading words! Fuck face! Oh, I cannot fucking believe that this is the thing you made this whole video about! This is the single pettiest, most insignificant detail in the whole of the leak! What's the matter? You afraid that the big bad times you're gonna have to catch up with your trading card game? <laughs> gender is real. Do you know how many transgender people are in the United States as a percentage? The most recent number I could find? Do you think it's like, you'd think with all these changes, it's probably like five or 10%. Nope. It's not five, it's not four, it's not three, it's not two, it's not one, it's not 0.75, it's not 0.7, it's not 0.65, it's about a half a percent. Okay, but what does that have to do with your card game? For that matter, what does a person identifying as the opposite biological gender of the one they were born have to do with someone who identifies as neither of those two genders? Hey, you know, for that matter, that's still 1,625,000 people in the U.S. alone. That's still a lot of potential players. Hey, for that matter, where are you getting your numbers from? For that matter, who the fuck cares? It's just a word on a fucking card, you chuck- And remember that there's no real test to say if somebody's transgender. So a lot of these folks are trans trenders. I don't have a lot of trans friends, but I probably have more than your average bear. And I talked to all three of them about this, and they all agree that it's absurd. Anecdotal evidence. More like dunce. Yeah, I have a trans friend. She likes On Melancholy Hill better than Clint Eastwood. Doesn't mean she's right. It just means her opinion is wrong. Fuck you, Holly. Oh, and uh, hey, guy, buddy, compadre, amigo, me familia. How the fuck do you know your transgender friends aren't trans-trender friends? I mean, after all, you said it yourself. There's no test, even though there actually is one. So, therefore, there's no way to know if they actually are transgender or if they're just riding the trend if you don't believe that a legitimate test exists. Your own logic completely debases your anecdotal evidence, even if we assume that it's valid in the first place. Oh, and don't get me started on black people that hate black people. I'll get Cory Margera flashbacks. So who the fuck is this change for? It's not for trans people. Because every trans player I talk to doesn't care. Nobody was asking for this. Okay, so? There's... 
plenty of changes to Magic that no one asked for that I don't see you or anyone else complaining about. For one, there's the change right fucking above the one you're talking about, about the removal of mana pool from mana abilities. You say nothing about that being bad, but it was also something I didn't hear you or anyone else calling for. Also, the separation of the symbol denoting generic and colorless mana. For those that don't know, originally a number in a circle was used to denote cards that add that amount of colorless mana to your mana pool, and also to denote cards whose costs include mana where type doesn't matter. Nobody asked for these two to get different symbols, and yet they made a mechanic where it mattered, so they did it, and guess who had a problem with it? Fucking no one! The D keywording of unblockable. Originally, creatures that couldn't be blocked said they were unblockable. But this was changed at the same time that indestructible was made into a proper keyword. And guess who had a problem with it? Fucking no one! I could go on, but I have co-op partners and I'm completely ignoring right now simply because you are basically lying about the history of this game in order to deceive your audience! Hey, how you doing? Tulips, watering. I've got shit to do while you'll be a salty dork for 10 minutes. And I've got outfits to craft, so... This is your fault, you know. You still had the opportunity to say no, so technically, no you. Don't blame us for your lack of self-control, Mr. Level 68, in three weeks. I'll kill you. In 25 years, you've had he and she on your cards. Nobody complained. And you might be saying, but Jeremy, and, uh, maybe it's not about what you're saying. Maybe it's not an SJW thing. Well, here's Lee Sharp, works for Magic the Gathering. Now that the cat's out of the bag, not talking about how they completely fucked up again. Imagine if you don't play Magic, imagine knowing every card that was in the Hearthstone set that wasn't supposed to come out for another four months. What do you think that does to sales? It kills it. Okay, you know what? I don't play your card games regularly. You know what I do play pretty regularly? Fighting games. You know what happened when the Smash leaks happened? It made me want to buy Smash. If you have a leak, all it does is make the announcements sooner. That's it. The only difference between a press release and a leak is that you get the raw information without the corporation trying to spin it into something you want to buy. The only difference is that you don't get that bump in sales from people trying to figure out what's in them. If sales tank after a leak, guess what that means? It means the set isn't good and nobody wants the cards in it, you absolute moron. And you know what's funny? You talk about how it's comparable to knowing all the cards. The leak was 140 cards out of 269. Yeah, all the cards, dude. If it weren't barely above half, I'd give you the hyperbole, but fuck off. Hell, most of them don't even have artwork, you chuckle fuck! This will be the... another complete disgrace for the company. Not one person has been fired for this. How... do you know that hasn't happened? Like, I don't know what else to say about this. Where is your information from within the company to confirm a lack of terminations? You can't say no one got fired without anything to show for why you would know. And considering the leaks are consistent throughout the years these things have been coming out, how do we know that this leak wasn't intentional? Maybe hard to believe, but there are some companies that will intentionally leak production information as a marketing strategy. Matter of fact, the gangbusters selling cons of Tarkir was leaked with the exact same number of cards out of the exact same number of cards. And that had a positive effect on sales as opposed to a negative effect. Are, are you sure that the big leak at the beginning isn't intentional? And what about leaks that are illegitimate? Even outside the magic community, it's fairly common to see some leaks that are created by people for whatever kind of reason you can think of. Storing up drama, attention seeking, or sometimes even just for the fun of it and showing off their artistic skills. Albeit some leaks are better faked than others. Yeah, it's not like there's been metric fuck tons of fake magic leaks over the years before the actual leaks became more common, which is why when the first started happening, there was a lot more scrutiny about whether or not this shit was believable before. Fuck, you really think anybody was gonna believe Saga cards existed back in 2014? I'm really glad we're changing he or she to they. Hopefully non-binary players feel more welcome in the game. Are you fucking kidding me? What this is is a small cabal of the trans mafia and their beta orbiters over in Seattle thinking that this is what everyone wants. How about you fix the fucking card stock? Huh, I don't know the CEO of Wizards had a Twitter. He doesn't. That's Lee Sharp. 
who is the digital product manager for Wizards of the Coast, who has no bearing whatsoever on the wording and just codes in MTGO, Magic Duels, and Magic Arena. Then why the fuck do we care what he says? Look, one dude who has no bearing on what the cards have printed on them has an opinion about this that you don't like. Actually, wait, this goes against your earlier claim that nobody liked the idea in the first place. And on top of that, well, I admit there's an issue with lower quality card stock that, well, I just plain don't experience, I guess. Why the fuck would the digital product manager be talking about it at all? That is the complete opposite of what he is in charge of! Actually, I have a question. If changing the wording from he or she to they is contributing to the SJW Mafia as you described, then when I use the binary tool in my Psy program, does that mean I'm contributing to the same people? But Scarly, SJWs are already tools! Oh! Anyone who uses the term beta male in any sort of meaningful way just rings a sad, pathetic fuckboy to me. You guys may not know this, but he was also blacklisted from getting pre-release cards like a year or two before he was banned for calling people cucks unironically. How's that MGTOW MTG group coming along there unsleeved? Uh, don't get me started on the MTG deplorables. Oh, and before you guys take offense, you guys know that's in reality what you are, right? Come on. Your cards are coming out of the pack bent and have been for the past five years. But this, and now we know why. This is what you're spending your fucking time on. Please tell me that not everyone in the MTG community is this freaking petty. I'll send you some alpha investments videos later. Who? Blah, blah, blah. We all have big penises. Oh. oh. Yeah, uh -huh. Yes. The digital product manager who doesn't even deal in a physical card game in any way needs to focus on the card stock instead of talking about something that will actually be implemented into the digital product. And no, don't go to Mark Rosewater with this either. He's the head of R&D who determined what words go on the cards. I mean, you could probably ask these people who's in charge of manufacturing so you can inform them what's going on, considering these people have social media and the people in charge of manufacturing don't. It's almost like manufacturing doesn't tend to be a focus in promoting a card game. But don't get onto these people for not talking about a problem that has nothing to do with what their fucking job is. First reply with 76 favorites. Non-binary isn't real. A binary denotes a concept comprised of two parts. If gender is binary, then there can be only two genders. If gender isn't binary, then everyone is non-binary. By definition, this is a dis this distinction is useless. That's not what that means. That's not that's not what that means. To be non-binary means to not ascribe to the binary, which would mean that anything that's not part of the binary is non-binary. Agender, gendered fluid, all of these things, yes, all of them are non-binary. They do not ascribe to the binary male or female. Non-binary doesn't refer to all genders. The phrase doesn't mean that genders aren't binary. It refers to people that don't ascribe to the binary gender. And with that definition, transgenders are not non-binary. They are identifying as the opposite sex that they were originally born with. People can choose to be one, the other, or neither. Donnie is a boy. Doodles is a girl. Shell is an alien who does a sweet peridot impression and makes cute art. How do you mix this shit up so bad? I'm not even savvy on LGBT terms, and I can understand this and its appropriate context better than you have even tried. Also, I feel the need to once again ask, what does this have to do with Magic the Gathering? That is the top reply. And these people, you know how these people always act, right? So you're getting real feedback. By the way, he blocked this guy. Okay. I like how you just quickly scroll past what the dude was saying instead of actually covering the topic. Okay, first of all, yes. One wizard's employee who does not make decisions on card wording, blocking one person who disagreed with him instead of continuing an argument he did not want to have, is an indication that wizards is ignoring feedback from the majority of their player base. That was sarcasm, by the way. Let me summarize what happened there. Lee stated that gender is a social construct. The dude pointed out that social construct is based on biological categorization. 
Lee listed well-cited article that showed the distinction between the social construct and the biological categorization, and the dude continued trying to disprove it with things that didn't disprove anything and talked about non-binary and transgender as though they were the same thing when they have nothing to do with each other. I don't agree with Lee blocking this guy or anything like that, but then again, it's not my place to judge what an individual chooses to do with their block button. As in, not a corporation. Here, April King, another trans player. Hooray! Finally, I can cast Wheel of Fortune into seven lightning bolts, just like the good old days. Because it used to say his or her. And now they change it to their. Both players must discard their hands and draw seven new cards. That's not even the fucking joke! You can clearly see it says there on the fucking card. The joke is that it already said there. I can't fucking handle this shit. Why do people not know what words mean? You're paying for that too! Like, your statement actually contradicts the image of the card that is quite literally right in front of your face. And didn't you say, like, up top that trans people didn't like this and thought it was stupid? Well, whoops! I forgot how to fucking read, apparently. Maybe if you pulled your head out of your cavernous ass, you wouldn't have to read in the dark. Regardless, who are you to speak for a group that you clearly despise? I've not had one reason throughout this entire diatribe that I should take your word on anything in regards to the game, the leaks, the community. The fucking card stock! Yes, thank you. And there's the question I have by the end of it all. Why does this even fucking matter? Desi! Nobody's gonna get that joke. Like, the only people who are gonna get that joke are like the a real large minority of the audience. Like, real talk. I don't know why I wrote this in here. Fantastic. I'm just I'm just gonna leave this little this little diatribe in here too. Fuck it. We'll do it live. These people, what they're doing is compelling your speech through cards. This is more devious than you think. Nobody is compelling your speech. If you want to read the card as he, she, literally nobody's stopping you. What do you think's gonna happen? You think Wizards is gonna smash your kneecaps, burn your crops, ban you for- Oh. Yeah, that's right. Aw. Whoops. Hey, remember where that credibility went? I can't seem to find it. It did. Damn it, not another one! This is why Boon Cannon isn't a popular anime. And no, I know. I know. You're probably saying, Jesus Christ, dude, fucking relax. It's less text on the card. Who cares? I care. Wait, it is less text on the card. Why would you bring up something that actively goes against your stupid bullshit? Yeah. Having less text on a card is actually a very important reason to make a change like this. Most card games already do this, either that or avoid third-person pronouns altogether. Wizards also makes Dungeons & Dragons, which uses he or she, because unlike in Magic, it's a book. So grammatically correct statements are more important than having space for all the ideas that need to be conveyed. And even then, if you're really that pissy about the uses of he and she, for D&D, you can replace that with DM for the Dungeon Master and player for well- Practically self-explanatory there. See, you'd have a point if you were showing that the comprehensive rules were replacing all instances of his or her with their. But you're complaining about something that's already using shorthand, using a form of shorthand that tons of people use every day in speech anyway. Whether they're referring to... Like, okay, seriously. This is... A, I'm going off script here. This is another fucking point against you. People actually use... The third person plural as though it were a genderless third person singular anyway. They do it all the time. Why the fuck is this a problem for you? Because I know what motivated this. And it's ideology. If the game was running perfect and you could show me any data that a significant portion of the player group was either indifferent or in support of this change, I would be fine with it. But that's not the case. What we have is a couple of <laughs> uh, soybeans up in Renton, Washington, thinking, telling you, the player, this is what you should be saying. Uh, no, no, hang on. So tell me, good sir, then why are you so against this? Is it because of your ideology? 
Legit, there's reasons why this is a practical change. The card length, the removal of word salad. And there's tons of them. However, the only reason you have as to why it should stay the same is purely because of your own ideology. And you have yet to convince me it's anything else. Your move. Remember to untap before you start it next time. Oh, and uh, where is your significant data to show that the majority of people are against this change? Citation needed, fuckface. This is the language you should be using. 25 years it wasn't a problem, but here we are in 2018, all of a sudden it's an issue. I wonder why that is. And he's getting roasted. Oh, you mean that large number of positive comments about the change that you're scrolling through? In fact, if I didn't know any better, that seems to be significant data showing that the majority of people are for this change or indifferent about this change. In fact... If I didn't know any better, I'd say that you're the one who's the triggered SJW trying to force language into people's mouths. Funny how life works like that, huh? Why wouldn't he scroll through them? They prove his bitching wrong and make him look like a salty glass of salt. And then we see... I cannot express how happy I am. Yeah, great. You made three people happy and six million people think you're fucking stupid. I mean, last time I checked, 1,625,000 people is bigger than three, but what do I know? Wait, three people? Is he talking about us right now? Can Jeremy see into the future? Of course not. If he could see into the future, he wouldn't have said the stupid shit that got him banned. That he admitted was a bit too mean and still didn't apologize for. Hey, wait, on top of that, three people? As in, the number of trans friends you had that you got your opinion from? Yeah, congratulations, you cited three trans people who didn't like this change. What about the other 1.6 million, you chuckle fuck? Congratulations. I'm cis, so my opinion isn't particularly relevant here. Why? You're saying you, you can't have an opinion on language because what? You're cisgendered? Are you fucking kidding me? The problem isn't that you're speaking for a minority when you're outside of that minority. The problem is that you're speaking for the entire player base and what they think and believe without connecting to their actual thoughts. The fact that you're taking this high of a pedestal gives me a bad impression on the magic community as a whole if you're claiming that's who you're speaking for. I love how you're also scrolling past a bunch of positive comments about this while also reading some positive comments about this while saying the majority don't like it. Like, I, I get that the vocal minority is a thing, but come on, dude. The way propaganda works is that you're supposed to show the things that prove you right and ignore the huge amount of evidence proving you wrong. Why is the Flat Earth Society better at propaganda than you? Not if I identify as he and, be, and find being called that they disgusting because I am not... Nor am I non-binary. All good. I wouldn't play your game anywhere. I don't like being around pedophiles. Ha! Got him! What? Huh? Yeah, congrats. Someone has turned away from your community because of child predation. Here's your Pyrrhic victory. It's still covered in blood. You know, it's funny because here it is. He's crying because he got banned and is laughing at the people who banned him getting panned for this kind of crime, which... I'm guessing is a minor group of people who committed them, right? As far as I can tell, he cited policies that show that people are being decommissioned as judges, because that's where that's where the accusations are being levied at at the judge program, as soon as the crimes they committed are exposed to the public. And he's saying that Wizards is lying about it because of from all the research I can do on the topic. A singular mistake with no proof of intent to deceive, and a bunch of guilt by association blanket statements that solely accuses people of knowing about it because they were friends with the culprit, which no real life doesn't work like that. Oh, and also presuming that Wizard said anything about DCI banning people when they said that judges have a zero tolerance policy on this type of thing, and uh, not players. And look, I'm not saying that the one situation isn't pretty abhorrent, because it really fucking is. But at the same time, to treat a case that at the time is shown to be a minority as though it is the majority is, well, kind of what you're claiming to be up in arms about. So it's definitely not something that you should be, you know, 
promoting. You laughing at something like this, though, is just showing how fucking petty you are. Is this how desperate you are to make your fucking point? You're laughing at an accusation of child molestation. Congrats, if I couldn't trust your credibility before, sure as God's got sandals, I can't do it now. And these people are never happy. Here's a friend of the channel, Tara Sophia, a trans person who put up a great video on it, by the way. You should check it out. Coming, if you're one of those people that, you're a cisgender male, you should have an opinion. Watch a trans person's opinion on it. She thinks this is fucking stupid too. In fact, you're actually removing women from the game. Her point, part of her point was that if representation is important, removing women from the text of the card probably isn't helpful for that. And here's a, here's a representation of who watches her videos. 98% male, 1.7 female. She makes Magic the Gathering videos. That's about what mine are on Unsleeved Media, too. Yeah, and her thoughts are just as fucking dumb. Erasing women from the game? What? No. Okay, when I think of MTG, a tangential player, I think Planeswalkers. Yeah, when I think Planeswalkers, the first person that comes into my mind is Chandra. Whenever people talk about MTG, I think of the steampunk lady with the fire hair. Actually, are you throwing her out because, look, fuckers, a lady agrees with me. Because I don't know why else you'd be bringing it up the way you did. Well, let's talk about you bringing up your viewership numbers as proof of females being the minority, and hers for that matter. You have, what, 150,000 subscribers? So let's assume that your fans are actually watching your videos, which, <laughs> I mean... You don't need me to point out how false that is. You can look at your own numbers, but let's assume that for a moment. What was that number you cited earlier? Is the number of people wizards pissed off? And six million people think you're fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you don't speak for the majority of the community either. So who are they pandering here? And of course... Predictably, the next day. Sorry. Predictably. What do you think he saw the next day? Do you think he was a victim? Yep. Well, my block list certainly has grown a lot. People upset about the pro pro pronoun change. Nominally, yes. Okay. So everyone is telling you that this is dumb, but you don't care. You're like, la 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 Use the words I want you to use. Professional. He's got a very punchable face now that I think about it. Please see earlier point about the positive comments that you skipped over to get positive comments to make fun of. Because, you know, everyone. Also, how is that not what you're doing. Like, you keep scrolling past people disagreeing with you and screaming over them because you don't like what they're saying. Nah, not salty at all. My boyfriend is less autistic than you. I'm less autistic than you. Vote with your wallet, people. Again, go check out Unsleeved Media. I talk about more than Magic the Gathering. If you're looking for a new hobby, I cover a lot of magic, but I also cover a lot of other things. I call bullshit! While you do occasionally talk about things other than magic, yeah, what's a season spotlight on something other than magic doesn't really count as covering lots of other stuff unless you're being a dishonest fuck to get people to watch your channel for content that they aren't gonna fucking get. Now who's crying for their fans' money unsleeved? You don't talk about D&D &D enough, so no thanks. I'll just be over here with my mini character sheets. Yeah, if you want to watch something that has nothing to do with Magic the Gathering, but still want to support wizards, please watch Dungeon Mastery with Boone and I. Or my speed paints of Dungeons and Dragons characters. You guys are aware that Magic was created to be played between D&D &D sessions by a bunch of D&D &D nerds, right? <laughs> Spend your money there until management is replaced. That was a joke! Holy shit! Did you just say for your fans to spend money on your channel? Boy, that may have not been what you meant, but hot diggity fuck is that what you said? Please give me the mans. I need to go to college with all my seven dollar. Damn CC memes. You're a CC meme! Uh, valid. Or buy singles. Or play Legacy, Vintage, or Modern, where you don't have to buy any newly printed cards.
You mean newly printed cards that may be designed to add new options to legacy or modern decks? You mean those newly printed cards? You mean buying singles, kind of like the guy you have the biggest problem with, Hilarion Community College's professor encourages everyone to do, and is the entire point of his booster box game series? You mean things that support people who buy newly printed product anyway by causing you to buy things that are less newly printed for them so that they can buy newer cards from Wizards and play more standard or draft? Yeah, choke on a black vice, you chuckle fuck. From what I saw, Hasbro earnings were down. Let's continue that trend. The whole house needs to be cleaned. That they, If they think using the incorrect pronoun might trigger like six players in the entire world is more important than fixing the card stock, that tells you everything you need to know about these idiots. You mean like how it triggered you? Because you're talking about upper management needing to be called because of one fucking word. Yeah, if anyone's the triggered snowflake here, it sure as shit ain't the trans people in the community. The video ends there. Well, there's the end card where he asks people to donate to his not Patreon, but that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys take care of final thoughts first. Mine's gonna take about five years. Well, let's go then. The grapes in this video are so sour, they're a finely aged Cabernet. Though, if I were to prepare some magnificent cheese for all this wine, I think Wisconsin would be the richest state in the nation. All this was, all it was, at the end of the day, was a 12 minute bitch fest because Big Daddy Wizards is moving on with its life despite the messy breakup, and you want to find every crack you can while you stalk its Instagram and leave comments that he's getting fat. Grow up, move on, and stop foisting your outdated, misguided opinions on people who, judging from your falling sub count, don't give a rat's ass what you think anymore. Oh, what's the matter, Unsleeved? A little too mean for you? This gave me a bad impression on a lot of friends, not just with the magic community in general, but with your channels. Both of them. It's clear from the numbers that you're a dying channel and you're salty that you're not the top dog. And when you let that mindset of becoming popular take over your drive for creating content, it makes the content itself very filthy to watch. Not to mention the blatant hatred for any kind of minor changes that really amount to nothing in the long run. To anyone who chooses to create content and talk about a subject that they enjoy, don't be this man-child. You'll lose subscribers and you'll have a toxic audience to boot. No one wants that in any kind of community. As for unsleeved media, quartering, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, when I had to constantly look to Boone and Heaton and ask with genuine concern if the entire magic community is like this, we have a problem. Fix your attitude. For now, get in that timeout corner and think about what you did. Y'all done? Cool. You know... I thought the most toxic person I would ever deal with in regards to magic was going to be Desolator Magic. Jeremy, I am very, very disappointed to be wrong on that front. Like my co-op partner said, you really just come across as butthurt over the fact that you were banned. And as I'd like to reiterate, I don't even agree with the banning. But you know what I did? I looked at the reasoning, realized that I wouldn't have done the same thing, and went Back to playing my Corridor EDH deck in peace. You haven't done something like that for a long time, though, have you? I've actually been aware of you and even watched your stuff to a minor extent for a very long time, and I can actually cite where you went from someone that I could honestly respect into, ever so slowly, becoming a shell of the person you once were. The second that you were no longer the number one Magic the Gathering YouTube channel. When Talarian and later the Monosaurus passed you, you clearly started having a fucking problem with it. The fact that you send so much of your vitriol towards them on a regular basis? That tells me how much of a problem you have with not being top dog. And that tells me quite a few things about your character. In my original video concerning your controversy, I stated that your actions indicate something about your character that I didn't want to believe. And that thing was that you were the type of person who would always insist on being in the right, even when they are in the wrong. And everything you've shown me since has confirmed that for me. I'm not even mad at you, really. I'm, I'm just disappointed that this is either what you really were all along, or this is what you've become 
after the fame got to your head, and now you can't cope with it when it starts to slip through your fingers. I do have advice for you, although, to be honest, I'm not expecting you to really take it, but I'm going to give it anyway. If you honestly think that people should be spending their money on other games as opposed to magic, then stop talking about magic. The fact is that the majority of the community has indicated that they don't want you there, whether that's justified or not. And instead of talking about how you don't want to be part of a community that's doing these things, then just don't be part of that community. You've got plenty of other games behind you. You said it yourself. Start promoting them more if you want people to stay away from magic until they fix what you think is broken. All right, I'm back. You nerds done being nerds? Unfortunately, in his case, the condition is terminal. We finished the commentary. And I help! Fantastic! I don't care! Boone, get your shit, we're going to the jungle. Yeah, call me next time you go demon hunting. I'm getting antsy, and the next time Michael startles me, I might cut him in half. Well, I'd love to stick around, but I've got a suit to tailor, and this client is a spastic one. Have fun with Tarzan, Boone. Are we gonna run through that jungle? No credence references either, you shit!